Welcome to the Wild Wood Show with special guest host, Bills wide receiver, Marquise Goodwin. Hi, I'm Dave Jixer from 97 Rock. Arizona comes up dry as the Bills get a big hometown win. What's the plan for the Patriots? We're going to find out. I'm Sarah O'Brien from 1033 The Edge. I'm in the digital zone with your questions and comments and ready to connect with Marquise. The Robert Wood Show on WBBZ TV is presented by Gelber and O'Connell, your car accident and injury law firm. Mighty Taco, do the cue. Mighty Taco's new quesadilla styled burritos. And DeGraff Hospital, because we see people, not just patients. And now from the WBBZ TV studio from 97 Rock, here's co host Dave Jixter. Welcome to the Robert Wood Show. Marquise Goodwin in the house. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, man. Thanks for having me. Big win yesterday. How does it feel? Uh, it feels great. And um, it's even sweeter because we got Victory Monday today. So uh, we were off today. And it's hard to get a win these days, you know. So it's, it's a blessing to pull one off. What do you think the difference with the team was yesterday? There was a little spark. The offense held the ball for a lot longer, made some big plays. Was it the new offensive coordinator, or was it just a, a, a bunch of different things? A lot of things lined up to win. You know, you can't just direct it towards one specific thing. Uh, the team morale was great. The energy in the locker room was outstanding, and we came out ready to play. That crowd was on fire yesterday, weren't they? They had to help a little bit. They got a few assists there. 100%. They definitely got a, a few assists. Um, the crowd was loud and cheering us on and ready, and they kept us going. It's great. Well, it is the Robert Wood Show, and we're lucky to have Marquise, but we did catch up with Robert after the game, and uh, we'll roll that right now. Robert Woods, first of all, congratulations. Uh, great team effort and a much-needed win, the first win of the year. Yeah, much-needed win at home. Uh, against a good team, you know, a good opponent coming in here. But uh, it was a must win for us. And we played consistent on offense, played consistent on defense, and uh, big play by Aaron Williams on special teams. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit yeah. because I was a little disappointed with his touchdown celebration, <laughs> but he was so excited. And, and that was overall special teams came up big, defense played very well. Yes. You guys got first downs when you needed to get them. What was the difference in the offense? Play calling? Was it simplified? You know, new offensive coordinator? I was just saying, you know, uh, it was, we were just able to hone in on, on certain details, which allowed the guys to play faster, uh, play quicker, know their assignments. So, I mean, it, it made it a lot easier to execute when you're not thinking so much about certain details. Uh, we were just able to get up and line up and, and make a play, and, and Tyrod delivered the ball. How, how relaxed was the team coming into this? Because this really was a must-win game. If you would have lost this, you'd be 0-3 <laughs> and going into New England. I mean, were you guys relaxed, or did you know this was a must-win? Yeah, I, it was a must-win. I wouldn't say uh, relaxed is the, is the word. I would maybe say poised. I think we were, we were very honed in our opponent, uh, knew the details about them. And uh, just were just just very focused and uh, able to get a win. Tyrod Taylor had the longest quarterback yeah. run in team history, I think. I mean, it, it's <laughs> I I mean that's that's saying something. And you were out there on the field. Yeah. I think you were trying to catch up to him. You yeah, did get yeah, a block yeah. in that play. Tell us about that play. Yeah, um, just a just a quick option play. You know, Ty made the guy miss. You know, he had to decide uh, who to who to guard, and uh, he he took off. You know, you leave a guy like that who's dangerous. Um, I know he is a quarterback. You always say get the pitch man, but when it's Tyrod back there. You know, you gotta, you gotta make a decision, and uh, it was the wrong one. How um, difficult was it to uh, move the ball against the Cardinals' defense? They have a pretty good defense. Yeah, they have a pretty good defense. Now they were able to get us uh, a couple of times, um, third down. Uh, although we did have, you know, good drives on first and second down. Um, you know, third down, they, they were able to stop us in penalties as well. But um, the safety right here, you know, back in the end zone was, it was tough for us. So I mean, it's a good, good defense. They're gonna make some plays as well. Uh, first series, I believe you guys went three and out, and the defense came on, and, and I don't think the Cardinals got a first down. Maybe won the entire first quarter. The defense really made a statement. Yeah, defense definitely made a statement. Uh, I want to say it was five five turnovers, I believe, four interceptions by our guys, two by Stephon. Um, defense definitely stepped, stepped up big. Um, I want to say that one of the biggest plays I saw was probably Corey going up and mm -hmm. you know, batting that ball against Michael Floyd. Um, you know, big, big plays. You know, people came to play today. Okay, so New England next week. What do you? What do you? What, what, what's what's this team thinking? Um, right now, you know, tonight, you know, enjoy the win and focus on New England tomorrow. Uh, got to got to focus, film, 
stay poised, uh, talk to our coaches, uh, get on the same page, and uh, get ready to go on Wednesday. Aaron Williams touched down on special teams. Uh, you could just see the smile on his face while he was running towards the end yeah. zone. And I know he's a good friend of yours. So have you had a chance to talk to him? Uh, I, I, I did get a chance to talk to him. I didn't talk to him about a celebration. but uh, Yeah, he was so excited. Yeah, yeah. He really didn't know what to do. He, <laughs> he danced didn't. a little bit. But. I felt like he just ran across the whole end zone. Um, but uh, just, just big plays, you know, excited. Gets the whole crowd involved. Um, it's energy, you know. When, when you make big plays like that, you know, you bring energy to other players, to the fans. And... Uh, Big, big plays like that ignite other big plays. So we love that from here. Well, the Robert Wood Show is going to be missing you. You got Marquise Goodwin filling in for yes. you. You did a nice job last year. I know you're going to be cooking at some, some <laughs> supermarket, right? Yeah, going to Wegmans, get a cookout. Uh, Marquise is filling in. Uh, should do a great job. And uh, I can't wait to get back to the show. All right, do you do you cook? I mean, yeah, you... I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the kitchen. I'm, in, I'm cooking some wings, saucing them up on the grill. I mean, are you good at it? Yeah, I, I, I get down. I, I cook. You should come by and get, get yeah, some wings. Get absolutely. some wings. Yeah. All right. All right, Robert Woods, thank you very much. Congratulations, thank man. You, man. Big game. Big win. Big, Big win. win. Has, has Robert Woods ever cooked for you? He definitely has. He's a great teammate, great friend, and also a great cook. Right, he's never cooked for me. That's why I'm asking. I mean, he tells me how good he is, but uh, yeah, I'd like to sample some of that. Let's talk about the uh, the overall team victory yesterday. But before we do that, a lot of people were counting the Bills out. They're like, oh, they're 0 2. They're not going to make it and stuff. You know, what do you say to all the Bills doubters out there? Um, you don't say anything. You just let them doubt. Everybody has a job, and you know, doubters' jobs are to doubt. Uh, we just have to overcome it. Don't feed into it, and uh, continue to work with each other. Aaron Williams, I know he's a friend of yours and had a huge, huge game on defense, but a huge special teams play. And on that touchdown, he was running actually towards the press box and uh, he had a smile on his face the whole entire way. I was very disappointed with his touchdown celebration, by the way. <laughs> That's probably what he was smiling about. <laughs> he couldn't wait to get in the end zone to do that. So. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a short break, and we're going to hear from you when we come back. Sarah O'Brien from 103.3 The Edge will read your tweets from the DeGraff Memorial Hospital Digital Zone when we come back with Marquise Goodwin on The Robert Wood Show. Welcome back to the Robert Woods Show on WBBZ TV. Every Monday night, I'm Dave Jixter from 97 Rock with Marquise Goodwin. We're so happy to have you after a big Bills victory. And we're going to check in with Sarah O'Brien from 103.3 The Edge in the uh, Digital Zone, presented by DeGraff Memorial Hospital, because we see people, not just patients. Sarah, take it away. Thanks so much, Dave. Make sure you're following along with us on our Twitter at WBBZ and at Robert Woods Show. And you can also find us on our Facebook at WBBZ. Make sure you're getting your questions there so we can answer them live every Monday. Marquise, our first question comes from our Twitter. It's from Buffalo Bills fans only. And they want to know how your sister's doing. Oh, my sister's doing very well. She just turned 25 on September the 17th. So it's a blessing she got to see another year. Yeah, you brought her. You brought her here last year when you were filling in a, as well. So, what, what, tell us her story. Ah, uh, she's just um, you know hanging out in Dallas. She lives with my mom. My mom is up here right now, so she's with my grandmother, and um, you know she's just living life to the fullest. She's traveled a lot um, during the off season. She traveled for about two months, uh, just wherever she wants to go. That's her time. So. Uh, that's how. That's what she does during the off season. That's great. You're very close to your family. I know your wife is is quite the athlete herself too. Definitely, she's a 100 meter hurdler. Um, also does short sprints in track and field. Um, she tried out for the Olympic team. She ended up placing tenth at the USA Track and Field Olympic Trials. Um, so she's she's got hope for the next four years. Does she ever give you constructive criticism? Like, you know, she's Marquise, you should have been faster on that play. You know, what's, does she ever give you constructive Oh, criticism? 100%, especially, <laughs> especially when it comes to effort or, you know, just trying and, you know, running. Uh, she thinks since she's a, a great track athlete that she can critique me on my running. <laughs> Very long as you handle it well, you know, she's the boss. Most there. So, Marquise, our next question comes from Twitter again. It's Buffalo Loco this time. Do you and Aaron Williams watch college football together? We definitely do. Aaron is one of my best friends. He was one of my groomsmen in my wedding. Um, we do a lot of things together. You know, he's like my brother. So, 
we definitely, every time the, we get the opportunity to cheer Texas on, we definitely do that. You think he's still celebrating that touchdown? <laughs> oh, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. Marquise, you're pretty popular on Twitter. We got another one in from Andre, who wants to know if you think you're faster with football cleats or track spikes. Uh, uh, I'd have to go with track spikes. They're just because they're a little lighter, a little more traction in the, with the spikes on the, on the actual uh, track. But uh, I think I'm fast on the field too as well. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, it's like a, it's Maybe like a, a little bit. So this is one I definitely wanted to ask you. I found this ESPN article, Rex Ryan's poking some fun at Bill Belichick with an impression. I don't know if you got to see it, but I wanted to know what you thought about it. We actually have that sound from buffalobills.com. Listen to this. Look, I can sit back and say, I don't care who plays quarterback, because I know Brady ain't. I said, I don't care who plays quarterback. Steve Grogan play quarterback. Rex, what went into the decision? If Belichick's playing quarterback, we're coming after him. Yeah, I promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> so, and obviously he's just joking around, but um, do you think that taunts Belichick a little bit? I don't know how much of a sense of humor he has. He's probably <laughs> sitting back home in Boston going, that son of a gun. <laughs> I'm not sure. I've never played for, you know, another team and definitely never played for the Patriots, so I wouldn't know his personality, but I'm pretty sure he's not laughing at that right now. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is Rex a funny guy? Oh, very funny. Yeah. Great sense of humor. Does he joke around with you guys a lot when things are going well? <laughs> oh, 100%. Yeah. And obviously the players like him and look up to him. No, we love him. Right. We love him. He's a great leader, a great person, and he definitely cares about this community. Right. And I have another one from you, for you from CBS. Uh, Rex Ryan, they're saying they had a, a, a lot on his mind after the first win. They're kind of speculating it. So I want to know what you think he had on his mind after the game. Uh, what he had on his mind after the game, we just won a game. <laughs> it's hard to win a game. So I'm pretty sure he's excited. Uh, but he's ready for the Patriots coming up this week. All right, we're out of time over here in the Digital Zo Zone, Dave. Thanks so much. Back to you. Thanks, Sarah O'Brien from the Digital Zone, presented by DeGraff Memorial Hospital, because we see people, not just patients. And how excited are you to play the Patriots next week? I mean, it's, it, it's, it's a big, they're big rivals. Uh, we haven't beat them in New England in quite some time. You got to be pumped up for that game, and so are your teammates. I'm super pumped up um, as I missed playing them two times last year. That's right. I was out with a rim injury. Uh, so looking forward to playing them this year. And uh, a little bit later in the segment, we're going to actually find out the keys to beating the Patriots. Hopefully you'll let us know what we need to do. Sure. Next, uh, we will take Marquise into the studio audience and take questions from our studio audience on the Robert Wood Show here on WBBZ TV. Connect with Robert with the Mighty Q Questions of the Week. Mighty Taco's new Quesadilla Grill Press Style Burritos are available now at Mighty Taco. Chicken, steak, or just say cheese. The Mighty Q is the perfect way to do the Q. And welcome back to the Robert Wood Show. I'm Dave Jixer from 97 Rock with Marquise Goodwin, who's filling in for Robert tonight. And this is the fun part where uh, Marquise will actually, uh, well, he's here in the studio audience, and we'll take questions uh, from our studio audience members. So take it away, Marquise. All right. Our first uh, guest we have here. Who, who do we have here? I'm sorry. I'm Barb Sunday from the downtown Rwanda. Just want to know who is the fastest on the team? The fastest on the team? I don't know. I'd have to race every single person on the team to find that out. <laughs> is it you? I don't know. I think Eric Wood might be able to beat me. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I have my money on you. So. <laughs> Nothing against Eric, but. Who do we have Hi, here? I'm Karen Holly from Rochester, New York. Okay. Which is more physically challenging, the Olympics or football? Oh my goodness, football. No question about it. Um, it definitely puts your body through things that I've never experienced in track and field. Uh, the wear and tear in your body, I get hit almost every single play. It feels like a car wreck, if you can imagine that, a car wreck every single play. And I played 65 plays last game, so I got into 65 car wrecks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you handle that pretty well. So. Appreciate it. Oh. Hi, I'm doing? Gary Polino from Clarence, New York. Uh, my question to you is, what do you usually eat on a daily basis so that you're at a high performance on game day? That's a great question. Um, I try to stay carved up. I'm not, you know, 6'4", 220 pounds, so right. uh, I kind of have to uh, carve up, eat a lot of protein, things that'll fuel my body um, so I can last through the game. Hydration as well. Exactly. There you go. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. 
Are you like a healthy, healthy eater, or, or, or aren't you at that stage of your life just yet? <laughs> I'm very healthy eater. Oh yeah. All organic, um, or mostly organic, um, whenever I can. All right. Who do we have here? I'm Kyle Smith from Silver Creek, New York. Okay. And who's the funniest guy in the locker room? Funniest guy in the locker room? Uh, that's a tough one. Um, oh, Aaron Williams is a funny guy, right? Aaron Williams is definitely a funny guy. I'm pretty biased, though, because that's one of my good friends. And I kind of laugh at his jokes to make him feel better about himself. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Kyle Williams, he's a funny guy, right? Kyle is hilarious. He, it's kind of dry. Yeah. You know, he's a vet. You know, he's kind of in the cut, you know, but. Uh, Richie's got to be up there. Richie is definitely up there. Great sense of humor. Very funny guy. All right, thank you. Almost there. It would have been a better question to who's not funny. <laughs> right. Yeah. What's your name, man? Ben from Clarence. Uh, what is your mindset coming in a week four? Oh, well, all right, Ben. Uh, <laughs> my mindset coming in a week four is just to win. I love winning. I probably love winning more than anybody. You know, so you think I love winning more than you? Yeah. <laughs> I think we have time for one more. One more, one more. Eric Speyer from Amherst. Okay. Well, you didn't get to the Olympics this year. Yes. You're gonna try again in 2020? Man, I just take each day as it comes. You know, if, if I'm blessed with that opportunity and I still have the abilities, I'll definitely go for it. Well, good luck. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you. So you're already doing that organic food. Already on organic. Yeah. yeah. I'm just starting to get to that stage in my life doing the, uh, doing the healthy, healthy food. All right, one of our studio audience members is going to receive a $25 gift card from Mighty Taco, which is a pretty cool prize. And we're going to come right back, and we're going to take uh, the Hot Shot Challenge from Gelber and O'Connell. We're going to see if Marquise can throw the ball, which I know he can. And he's going to take a studio member on outside in the Gelber and O'Connell Hot Shot Zone. We'll be right back. The Hot Shot Football Challenge is brought to you by Gelber and O'Connell, your car accident and injury law firm. Call 633-5050. And we are outside the WBBZ studios, and we are going to play the Hot Shot Challenge presented by Gelber and O'Connell. And we have Marquise Goodwin, who is going to take on Gary from Alden. Gary, did you ever play quarterback or do anything back in the day? No. <laughs> so we're going to be playing for a $25 red card from Muddy Taco. Are you oh. excited? Nice, nice, okay. nice. Now, Marquise, so you've had a chance to throw the ball in your football career, right? Yeah, a couple times in my career, you know. And how did you do? I'm not going to brag about myself, you know. <laughs> Threw a couple touchdowns, but uh, so I don't know Threw if you Threw a couple touchdowns. <laughs> All right. I, I, like, I like the confidence here. You have more confidence than Gary does, but Gary, we're going to separate up there and throw a ball. Remember, you're playing for a $25 red card from Muddy Taco. Good luck to you. All right, very close. Grab that ball. And step aside right here, Gary. And Marquise, go on up there, and let's see if he can throw a touchdown right now. Oh, there's one. That kind of like ricocheted in. It, it kind of ricocheted in. So don't let, don't let that get you down, Gary. For the tie, a little bit wide. That's all right. That's all right. All right, Marquise, you're up one nothing. You're gonna get another chance, though, Gary. Don't you worry about that. Oh, now you're down 2 nothing. You're still alive, though, Gary. You're still alive. Oh, just wide. And Marquise, go one more shot and see if he can go three for three. No one in the history of the Galbert and O'Connell Hot Shot Challenge has anyone gone three for three until right now. And congratulations. We're going to have to get a plaque with your name on it for that. Um, you, I got a feeling you're going to give them that $25 gift card. 100%. All right, the official winner, Sarah, is? beforehand as you can see right here you got all three <laughs> three and oh we'll be right back and we're going to find out the keys to beating the patriots when we come back with marquise goodwin here in the robert wood show dave jigster's wardrobe is provided by my stylist at macy's Welcome back to the Robert Wood Show. I just want to let you know I sent Robert a text and let him know that you went three for three in the Gelber and the Connell Hot Shot Challenge, and he's not very happy. So, uh, no. so Sarah, you had a question for um, Marquise before we... Oh, yeah. Mine's super easy. You were talking during the break about different tattoos that we have, and underneath this, I guess he is covered. So what's your favorite tattoo? My favorite tattoo, I would have to say, is a portrait of my grandfather. It's very nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Very so. cool. What can we do to beat the Patriots this Sunday? 
play hard, play smart, and just win. And just win. Let's hope they do that. I'm Dave Jixer for Nice at Rock. Special thanks to Marquise. Good win for coming out. Filling in for Robert Woods. Good luck Sunday. Sarah O'Brien from 103.3 The Edge. And thanks to our studio audience. Go Bill!